Hey guys, it's AD Video Editor here, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create custom slide styles in a Pro Show Producer. And for those of you who don't know what Pro Show Producer is, it's a great software to make photo or video montages. And so assuming you already know what the software is and you're just looking for this answer to the problem I'm going to solve, let's get started. So in case you don't know what a custom slide style is, or I might think of it as a sle themed slide style according to Pro Show Producer, it's a slide style that has a nice look to it as in this slide right here. So if you add that, so whenever you add that to a slide you get that old disco ball and the background and it's kind of like a theme with the slide style. And so in, in this um, slide style that I tried to make, I'm thinking more of like an Apple theme. So I have the Apple logo right here, and these are this is just some movement, and then right over here would be the picture that would move around depending on what you want the picture to be. So if I play this, it's pretty simple. And yeah, that's it. So you should probably know that to create this as a sl slide style, you'd go to Effects, Create, and it'll, all you need to do is make sure you have that slide selected. And I'll call this Apple Theme. And so now we'll go ahead and create a new slide. Add a picture to it. Okay, and now we want to apply the slide style. So with this slide selected, we'll go to Effects, Apple Theme. And are you sure you want to apply the theme? Click OK. Done. And so now you see you have your picture here, but there's just this empty box right there. That's because this theme um, is still expecting another picture to go right here. So in order to make sure that you have your like logo or cut your theme part of the slide style in, on the original, um, let's open this up, go to Layer Settings, and the Apple logo, which is kind of like the layer that I want to be in everything, you uncheck replaceable layer. And so that, um, when it says replaceable layer, that means that when you apply the slide style, it's, you replace it with the picture of your choice. But with that not um, replaceable, then that's part of the theme itself. So you click OK. Whoops. Go to Effects. Create new theme. Apple theme. Okay, and I will replace the old one. Done. And so now, if I go here in Effects, and I apply this theme to that, done, then you'll see that the Apple logo is carried on, or whatever logo or image or anything that you decide. And you could um, uncheck repl replaceable layer for multiple layers. It's all about what you want the theme of your slide style to be. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope it was really helpful, and please continue to watch more of my tutorials in the future.